It's me. And me. Hi guys, I'm Colleen. I'm Alex. And you are watching the Biblio Feline. Today we're doing a fun video. We're sorting our cats into their Hogwarts houses. We made a sorting hat, cat size. <laughs> um, so without further ado, let's get this started. So first to be sorted was Manford. <laughs> Slytherin! Alright guys, so as you can see, we sorted him into House Slytherin. Yes, because he is extremely driven and wants to get anything he wants. So, traits for Slytherins are resourcefulness, that is a Manford, cunning. We have tape on all of our walls to try and protect our picture frames because if he's naughty and he wants attention he will knock our pictures off of the wall until we stop him all night all night long ambition <laughs> yeah he will do whatever it takes to get what he wants like he is so smart he just does whatever and if we try to modify something such as the tape he figures out a way to do it anyway <laughs> self-preservation he loves his food that's for sure <laughs> He would wage a world war to get his food on time. Fraternity. He is a very friendly little boy. He does love his sisters, even if they um, get really annoyed with him. And he loves his parents. Oh, so much. And cleverness, which, again, he will do whatever it takes, and he will find the most creative ways to do it, because he's <laughs> bad. <laughs> and we love him. So much. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, here is Sully's video. Hufflepuff. So we sorted Sully into Hufflepuff because she is a goober. She she is in the house of her <laughs> mom and dad for sure. Um, Sully is a Hufflepuff through and through. I knew the moment we got her she was a Hufflepuff. Um, Sully's favorite things to do are to eat and sleep and to snuggle with mom and dad. Yeah, in that order yeah. as well. <laughs> Occasionally she'll come out of the bedroom and play. But it's like once every like week. Yeah. But it's not a lot. <laughs> so the traits of a Hufflepuff are dedication. She's very dedicated to me and Alex. Oh, yeah. And think... to her sleep. Like, she will stop at nothing to sleep. <laughs> hard work. Mm. No, there's no hard work in her life. Yeah. <laughs> that she one sleeps. doesn't fit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> fair play. Which, I mean, it's a cat, guys. It's a cat. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Patience. She does have a lot of patience. She puts up with me. And she me. puts up with Manford, which it takes a lot of patience. And Luna. And yeah. and Luna. She's such a good girl. <laughs> Kindness. She's adorable. She's our baby. Mm -hmm. She's so sweet and just loves loves everyone. Yeah. Unafraid of toil. She's a scaredy cat. Yeah, she she'll like cry for help if one of the other cats is trying to like play fight with her or something like that tolerance she does tolerate manford quite a bit and luna luna likes to bite and she really yeah. likes to bite sully but sully still seems to put up with her yeah loyalty yes mm -hmm. she's for sure that's sully through and through and acceptance which again well, that's just sully sully is like without a doubt a hufflepuff and last but not least we have our loony Ravenclaw. And we sorted Luna into the Ravenclaw house because she is a smart, smart girl. So some Ravenclaw traits are intelligence, which yes, she is super smart. She was a stray, so she <laughs> had to use her street smarts to survive as a stray. Wit, which yes, she she's very witty. Wisdom. She's definitely our most wisest cat. Oh, for sure. She's only like four. They weren't sure when we um, adopted her how old she was. They said either three or four. We usually just round down. So we've had her for about a year. So she's only about four. And sometimes it's like she's like 100 years old. She just seems like such a wise little kitty. Like a big old owl. Creativity. Um, so if Looney isn't being paid attention to, she likes to what I call shark. And she'll like <laughs> swerve in and out of our feet and then bite us. Yes. Um, and if we're ever doing their litter boxes, we have to keep like an eye like behind us because she'll like creep up 
behind us and like bite our heels or our butts if we're not <laughs> if we're not paying attention. And if we catch her in the act, she'll just sit there with her mouth hanging open, like ready to bite us, but she'll be like a stone <laughs> statue. It's a game to her. It's very funny <laughs> for her. <laughs> Originality. There's yeah. no one like Loonies. Right? One of a kind. She's over there. Yeah. <laughs> Individuality, again. There's no mm -hmm. one like her. And acceptance again, which I feel like this is the least of like her. She's not accepting at all <laughs> she, of anything that isn't what she, she wants. She's not. She probably would have done better in a single cat home, but yeah. we didn't know that when we adopted her. So. And she's happy enough. Yeah, yeah she's with <laughs> us. So that was us sorting our cats into their houses. They hate us, if you can't tell. <laughs> but they don't. They love us. No, they, they weren't happy with this procedure. They put, it that put up with a lot of stuff from us. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. I want to see you guys sort your pets into their sorting houses because I think it's a really cute idea. This is not an original idea, by the way. I've seen other people do it, but it's really cute. And um, here, I'll show you the loonies. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> this is my little raven claw. <laughs> I'd say she definitely has um, Slytherin tendencies, too. Still a little bit. And Manford has Hufflepuff tendencies. Sally's is Hufflepuff 100%. Yeah, well, thank you very much, everybody. Subscribe down below if you want to see more of this, more of our kitties, and more of Alex. And if you want, you can also check out my book on our link that we're posting down there, too. That'll be down below. Bye, guys. Bye.